1.1 miles, and I think I'm going to die. That's how out of shape I am. I may have to hire somebody with like a clown suit and a knife to chase me. Your coffee. But I know how coffee on my life. It'll burn you. It's burning my mouth. <laughs> Look at that house. It's got evil eyes in the windows. It's awesome. Tell Garrett you're sorry your dog bit his face. All right, guys, <clears throat> doing a little project. This behind me is, well, it's a mess is what it is right now. It's open to below, so it could has the potential to be very loud. But I'm working in the spare bedroom, which is really being set up as an office. So there's, that's the bird's nest right there, right? This is the office right now. You know, Molly parts on the floor. There's the sunroof, uh, and there's where I was sitting, which is another master. And it's just really not all that comfortable in here. So I'm going to remove these monitors and put them over there and work from there for now. One monitor. <sighs> Whew. Yep, dropped my phone again. Not broke this time, that's good. I went ahead and moved essentially the old office into the bird's nest and it looks like this. That's kind of obnoxious. So I don't know if that's going to apply with the wife. That's work, work, and work. Yeah, just bullshit right there. I think I could be more productive this way, so we'll see how it works. The wife likes it. <laughs> If you watched the last couple of videos, we've taken the interior out of Foxy Molly, we've taken the tail lights out, some of the window trim and molding. Uh, the quarter windows are out of it. They're actually painted. They're done. They're upstairs in, in storage until we get to a point where we can use them. This stuff here and this carpet needs to come out. It's kind of like a storage area right now. I'm going to pull that out to figure out what that's made out of because they sell a kit. A late model and that kit is like seven hundred dollars just for the insulation is it the same type of stuff that they put under like carpet it looks kind of like the same stuff I don't know I don't want to spend seven hundred dollars on insulation that just seems like stupid you can see it's just so dusty in here And a lot of it is this mat. I'm gonna put a light in here. It's maybe I can vacuum it. The carpet in the hatch is super hard to get up. It's actually not hard to get up. It's actually really easy. It's two screws. <laughs> Shocker! It's all different hardware. None of it's right in this car. So now this should just come right up. Okay, looks like there's some, see the clips? There's clips at the front. So I should be able to lift it like that. You can see the clip. Just lift forward. And it comes out. And that's the carpet. And just lift. And this is, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I'm gonna try to vacuum this stuff out and reuse it because it's too expensive not to keep it. Do you have a spare? I do have a spare. I 
There's that tar paste sound deadening they put in there. Hmm. You can just see all the dirt and this nasty stuff. They just like taped it on and painted over it. This stuff's done. I'm taking it out. That's what I'm doing today. I'm taking the tar out. Decision made. Done. I don't know what that little strap is right there. Maybe it was for a car seat that somebody put in after the fact. I don't think that's stock. That's a broken torque spit. I'm trying to get off. That bolt. Unreal. Snapped it completely off. Like it's nothing. So, boys and girls, this is why you don't buy cheap tools because they do that. I don't know where I got that from. This set, is it saying on here? Titan. Titan's junk. I'll never buy Titan tools again because that's ridiculous. Really? And I hit my hand on the car and it pissed me off, so. Move over. it's clean you know I know that there's a little bit less dust Isis what are you doing Isis you gonna live in the Mustang like a rat like a mouse <sighs> clean behind here these still got to come out but I broke the tool the torque spit that I need to take the seat belts off so I can't get those off yet clean behind here uh, that was really dirty. Noticed here, so Molly has had an accident in the front and had an accident in the back. You can tell because this is all, it's been pushed in. You know, whatever, it's fine. It's an okay repair, I guess. It wasn't too bad. It looks like someone just beat it out with a hammer. That's probably what I would have done too. <laughs> Ooh, it's 8.15. It's work time. And I gotta buy tools to get the seat belts off because I bought junky ass powdered metal torque spits that are total garbage. Molly. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Lunchtime is gonna be a race to get the backyard done in an hour. So maybe we'll do something fun with that. Yeah. Spiders falling on my head. Weed whacking. Weed whacking should take, oh shit. Well, it's gotta take 10 minutes or less. Oh, I don't think it's gonna happen. Here's clock. Shades. Shades. Well, that just completes it, doesn't it? All right, I'm gonna kick ass taking it. Edging is done. Let's see what time it is. I have a feeling that took longer than 10 minutes. Stay dogs. <sighs> I don't know man. That took a little over like 12, 15 minutes.
myself or not, it's not gonna happen. Murray decided to take a crap on me. Not moving without that, and I'm not pushing it. Lunch over. Deuces. Morning. It's Thursday. Lunch with Brian didn't work out so well because I failed miserably. Ended up being breakfast, lunch, and dinner to get the lawnmower fixed. He's sitting behind that door right there. See? Over there. Belt broke off. I had no idea how to put it back on. Took half on more apart. Still was wrong. Ended up going to get the free manual online, which was probably what I should have done in the first place. What are you going to do? You live, you learn, I guess. Ended up being a lot easier than I, uh, than it should have been. No. It was easier... Whatever. What I should have done in the first place was just drop the mower deck slide it out of the way and then the belt pff, right on you have to take the steering wheel out the whole steering uh, shaft which is kind of odd so yeah that took a couple hours yesterday uh, started removing the deadening the sound deadening out of the car I did it with a chisel which as you can see I only got a little part of it out there the other half is still on it right there I'm not going to chisel any more out. I'm going to do Sal and the Facebook page pasted a link to using dry ice and apparently that's kind of common. I didn't know that. I learned something new. Thanks, thanks Sal. You're awesome, dude. So we're going to be getting some dry ice uh, in a couple of days and I'm going to do that on the front and the rest of the trunk, get that out. And then I'm going to buy Fat Mat or Dynamat. So you can see where I've cleaned. It's nice and shiny back here. That's all, that's how it came from the factory. And then as it gets closer to the front of the car, up in there you can see it's just filthy, dirty dust. And I could leave that. I mean, no one's gonna see that. But I don't want the dirt in there because I'm OCD. It's, oh, it's only 7.30. I got another half hour before I have to work. It's Friday the 9th of October 2015. It's been a very busy week with work. Work has been very stressful this week. Uh, working on Molly. Mary the mower took a total crap on me with the belt and that was a learning experience. Uh, as far as progress on Molly this week, it's mostly just been cleaning all the sheet metal. It could be a pointless exercise, but to me, it makes me feel better. The entire car is covered in this dust layer, which is to be expected with, you know, 25 year old car, all this. So I've got my bucket, a rag, just some warm water going through and just cleaning it. Still don't have a welder. So if you're out there and you can get me a MIG welder that I can borrow for a couple days, hit me up in Facebook message or YouTube or whatever that'd be awesome seriously tedious work cleaning all this crap does make it look better though. It's nice and shiny. There's not much of a functional return on investment with this other than maybe you're losing a couple grams of dust, you know, because race car and that might help, but it just looks better. The more dust and odor I get out of the car, the better I think. I'm kind of bummed out. Lunch with Brian didn't work out because Murray took a shit on me. 
then I had issues getting the belt on and then I didn't film some stuff and I lost some footage so that didn't turn out so I'll just stick that in this video but stick around hopefully next week we'll have some better video as always like subscribe keep watching hopefully the uh, build will start coming along a little bit faster once I get the inside cleaned out and of course get that welder if you got any Fox body 87 to 93 seats specifically a driver's seat let me know have a good weekend and we'll see you next week Peace.